everyone. So just a little quick update from me. So this is our second week of the Fundamentals of Primary Care course. So we had two sessions this week. It does very much feel like information overload, like we've got our assignments, we've got all of this information, we've got all this portfolio stuff that we have to do. And I feel like my very first day at university all over again. Um, I'm just like, this is tough. But then just have to remind myself that I I will be okay. This is literally like the second or third day of this course. So it's going to be okay. And yeah, it will ease its way into it. I've got nine months of this course to do everything. It's going to be okay. So what have we learned so far? So today we had a really interesting morning of infection control and it's not like hand washing. This was a really intense infection control session. I was thinking more it was going to be more infection control, like showing you how to do aseptic technique and stuff like that in general practice, those sort of little things. But this was like, we had a quiz. I know. And the questions, let me get my questions. So the questions we had to answer was, Number one, um, what is the difference between a bacteria and a virus? And they didn't want a wishy-washy answer. They wanted in-depth knowledge, what it actually is. What is a bacteria? <laughs> I was just there like, mm, okay. I think one's living and one's non-living. That's what I've got, that's it. And then number two, name three viruses. Uh, number three, two types of bacteria and the system it attacks. That's a really good one. What is the a health care asso associated in, um, acquired, sorry, infection? What is a health care associated effect infection? Does that make sense? And then five was how often should you wash your hands for? And is soap and water better or is alcohol gel better? That's an easy one. Six, what is a septic technique? It's not a trick question. <laughs> Seven was how many types of influenza are there and how many affects humans? Number eight was why do we wear gloves to take blood but not to give a vaccine? That's a really good one. Number nine, oh God, I can't say this word. What is ectogenous infection? I'll put the word here. And what? And number 10 is what is endogenous infection? Number 11, what is the who? And number 12 was what sort of policies or guidelines would you look up when giving immunizations? Hey, <laughs> I looked and I was like, I know nothing. I'm an awful nurse. What am I going to say if she asks me to answer something? So I was just like, oh, oh, yeah. But I answered a little bit. So yeah, so after that session, I had a little bit of a meltdown to myself internally. I was like, I can't do this. I'm a bad nurse. I don't know anything. This is going to be horrendous. Why have I done this? Why have I chosen to be a GP nurse? Because I need to know so much information all at once. Uh, but now I'm okay because I reminded myself I'm still a newly qualified nurse and I have nine months of this course. And at the end of it, I will feel more competent and confident as a practice nurse. So yeah, so the rest of today's session and yesterday's session actually was all about our portfolio and our uh, two parts to our portfolio. So given the evidence and the competencies and skills is one part, but then our assignment is the next part. And we have to link our assignment and our competencies together to show that you're a competent, competent practitioner at the end of it, I suppose. But yeah, it's it's been really useful, actually. And it's actually answered a lot of everybody's questions. I think there was a lot of questions thrown out there. And not only that, we have got this other option of going into the fellowship program. So this is completely a, a completely new thing that's been set up to help newly qualified nurses, just newly qualified nurses going into general practice. So it should be getting a, a mentor that's going to support you. The place where you're working will get funding for your course and they'll also get funding themselves for you to have this mentor and to give you the time to do the training and stuff like that so it's a win-win situation for you but actually the practice as well because they're getting money for you and it's just a whole two-year support network but not only that you're getting funded to do extra courses and stuff like that on it so it's a no-brainer like who wouldn't want to sign up for that but they've asked us do we want to sign up for it and I'm just like why wouldn't anyone sign up for this like it's free you get funding it's going to benefit me massively like my knowledge and doing all this sort of extra stuff i'm going to get a massive amount of support as well why wouldn't you do that it's just yeah i'm excited 
And not only that, but it's good for progression as well. So at the end of your fellowship, you can get part funding or full funding, depending how much funding there is available then, to go on and do your master's or advanced nurse practitioner course or anything like that. So yes, I am all about this. So anyone that says there's no progression in GP, absolute nonsense. So yes, that's about it really for this week. I'm just trying to sort of show my progression through the course and what we're doing at each stage and things like that. So I hope it's really useful for you. When it comes to doing my assignment and writing that and stuff like that, I will take you through that journey as well and show you kind of what I'm doing and how I do my assignments. I'll show you that side of it because I don't think I've done anything like that. But I'll do like a little study session, I think vlog as well, so that you can see my thought process and how I work things out and things like that. It'd be really good, I think, to, um, that maybe you might be able to take something from it to put into your practice maybe, who knows? But again, everyone works differently, so yeah. So that's it from me. I shall shut up now and I will be back next week. I've got a couple of vlogs coming that I'm doing for the nurses.co.uk and the socialcare.co.uk. Got some really exciting vlogs to do for them. So they will be coming up on my channel over the next week. Um, and I also have some amazing, amazing videos, content, all of that going up on the Elsevier website. I know if you haven't saw the memo, I'm going to be doing loads of stuff. So please go and follow the page, the Instagram, all of that jazz, because they will update you when I'm going to do all these live webinars and videos and stuff like that. So yes, go follow their Instagram. I will put their link below and I shall see you next time. Mm -hmm.